Hello friends, today we are going to work on this lens. It is the Nikkor 1855mm. It is a very common lens. It is also a very good lens. And what I'm going to show you is how to remove all the optical parts of this lens. For example, for cleaning or replacement. So, let's start with that. And if you compare this lens with your lens, you will find a difference. And that is... I have already removed this sticker that you see here. No big deal. I made a little sequence showing how to remove that. So to remove the sticker, first thing you need is a sheet of paper in which you can put the sticker, ideally one that belongs to a sticker. And then you will need a flat tool, like the one I am showing here. And what you just do is you come below the sticker and then you just rotate just be very careful not to scratch the glass surface with whatever tool are you going to use and then you just keep rotating until you manage to remove the sticker easily and this is how you remove the front sticker of this lens once you have removed the sticker and put it somewhere safe you will find yourself with this and you can see that there are two small holes here and that's for using the lens spanner to rotate this element to unscrew it so you can use this kind of tool it's called a lens spanner you will find a link on the video description this is one option you can use the rubber cones this is friction wrenches and then what you do is you press and then you rotate this element you find a link in the video description as well but then the tool I prefer in these cases is the mason compass because it is more flexible than the other tools I provided but then here this is a bit more difficult to get this one I got on a flea market and the advantage is that it has big reach okay so and as you can see I am unscrewing the front element and then here you go this is the front element and if you just need to remove dust from here you can come and just give a little blow and your lens will be clean again if you have fungus you can do the same thing you can do a cleaning I have a video showing that here is the video and the link and what it can happen sometimes is that you get fungus on the inside of this block and this is a bit more tricky because as you can see the plastic is molded on the glass so you cannot remove this thing easily you will need to do some destructive work and I have a video showing that and there you can get all the details here this part is clean I'm just using it for the example for you guys so there isn't much I have to do here and then we want to remove the part that you see here on the bottom that is moving and to do that we'll need to come from the back and we will need to remove the bayonet so here we, will, we need to be a bit careful, we will need to remove first this plastic element and then it is held by three screws which are round and then if you don't have the screwdrivers, these are Japanese ones 
I ordered them from Japan, which are specific for the lenses made in Japan. So don't go with lousy screwdrivers because you you might damage the screws and then yeah, this will be a disaster. You can find also a link on the video description. Okay. So we have removed this and here is the part and I am removing it because I will need to unscrew this which is the connectors otherwise if I remove the bayonet I risk, I risk stripping everything and yeah that is not good for the lens loose there you go now it is loose and we'll need to remove the bayonet and here you need to be careful when pulling the bayonet because there is a little cable here that will be the grounding cable to the camera body and this is the kind of thing you need to remove if you are replacing the bayonet because these bayonets here are in plastic and then you have these elements that break I have also a video showing how to replace it it is here and it is a very quick job and these plastic bayonets are not very expensive can find them on the internet like for three five dollars or if you buy it a lot that you can share with friends or something I bought a box and then I think I paid for a hundred something like forty dollars okay I'm not going to bother removing this cable it's going to hold here I just need to be careful not to rip the cable here you have some spacers that you need to remove and don't forget to put them back same thing for the front element that, as you might notice there is also some spacers here and those are for giving the right distance so you get maximum optical performance okay and now here to remove this element we'll need to do two things first you come to the 18 millimeter position that you have here and we are going to remove this little element and to do so you will need to push you see there is like a tip here Let me just some for you this tip here and we are going to dislodge it here you go there is a little slot and then I just dislodged it and now it's going to unscrew and just pay attention we are leaving near the connector region so and this is just a plastic part, part and you can do a cleaning of that okay now to remove the front here will need to be somehow careful because we're going to remove these two elements these two rods and this thing the optical block is going to become loose okay, now we pull these guys it shouldn't be really difficult to remove you go first element let me just go back a bit okay. and then here you go I okay you see the thing 
just got out and then there is something yeah. okay now I just need to pay attention because it just fell through and I can see that it is already out of this cam that you see here just do some focusing maybe okay and I just want to mark I put something like a mark here and here and that I will know the position that this guy needs to be aligned in this position and here you go we have removed the central block and here you can do some cleaning remove dust to open this further I think you will need to do some uh, destructive work but I don't think it is necessary because this thing is rather, rather solid okay and this is actually how you remove the optical elements of a 1855 millimeters what we need to do now is to reassemble again and here I need to find a way just to put it back okay here I am so I put it back using the marks I just made I will need to make sure it doesn't fell again so I am using the back element I just remove it as a support to hold it in the air and now what I need to do is just to take these little elements so these rods that I removed previously and I just need them to get the guy up and align, align them so I have one I have two okay so here I put the rods back and then as you can see then is working as intended before I recover the little element that I just removed before and I put them remember I have the tip pointing towards the connector I need to come to 18 so then it comes out and then here I will need to just force a bit to get it in and once in the slot here you go you can see the assembly is easy I got some dust now don't forget the spacer and what I do to get things in position without a fuss is I just use a little metal rod and a toothpick and then now I'm sure I am aligned with the holes I come I put again and then this rod needs to go where the diaphragm moves so which is just there I 
Titan and the Bionic Screws. I get the connected block in position. I put this plastic rim. And see that the holes are aligned. the final screws on this side of the bayonet okay and just to finish the reassembly of the lens as you can see so far so good it is not very difficult to work on this little interesting lens we are going to put the front element and to do so, don't forget the spacers and the thing that will be important here is to make sure that they hold in position so you don't pinch them or clamp them around here so to make sure about that what we can do is to put this upside down we can screw partially no, actually we can go as far as possible and just to finish we use this banner on the compass okay do the final tightening and here I will need to do some clean off the front element lens clean fluid I have here you can also find it on the video description perfect but it is okay and this is how you disassemble remove the optical block and reassemble a Nikkor 1855mm the only thing that is missing is to put the sticker back but then I will let you do that so see you next time eh?